Why study for midterms when you can play video games? Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and remember that secret world I told you about? Well, now that we have all four trophies, if we honk at this trophy sign on the beach, we get the credit music again. But I don't see any credits playing, do you? What did he just say? I shouldn't have talked over that. Why are we going into the lighthouse? What's it doing? Lighthouse. Holy crap, it's a rocket ship! Can we somehow get blasted into the future? Why do I say future? Because this is... You didn't say what the lobby was. It's Future Funland, by the way. And it's another lobby! Yay! Do you know what that means? More racing to be had! Hooray! Space Dust Alley! Space Dust Alley! And in case you couldn't tell, we're in space now! Hooray! Space! Now I have to remember how to pilot the airplane. But this is, I mean, without a doubt, this is the most... Did I really miss that dash thing? This is definitely the coolest of the five worlds in this game. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's really crazy. And you even have these spaceships shooting at you. Obviously, the electricity will hurt you, so you'd be wise to avoid it. And down here is a secret passage! Which can help... I always take a right turn out of that because that's what it is in adventure mode. It's a right turn instead of a left turn. And there Banjo goes using his boost as soon as he hits the balloon. Uh, I love this world so much. I really do. I really love this world. It's just so pretty and weird. By the way, oil slicks in the air. I never mentioned it, but they just turn into little green clouds. But just the overall feel of the world, the music, it, it's its a treat for the eyes and the ears. And it's a nice reward for having beaten Wizpig the first time. And I'd be surprised if anybody who had this game when they were younger didn't know about this. But you did need to be at all four trophy races in order to unlock it. I'm pretty sure you needed golds in all of them, but I could be wrong. I, at least I never stopped trying those trophy races until I could get gold, so I'm not sure if anything less would do it. I imagine not. But I'll go check up on that for you. By the way, up there is like a big triangle of electricity that you obviously don't want to hit because it's electricity and it hurts! You know what else I like about this world? There are no hovercraft races! That's why we're officially done with the hovercraft if we never have to use it again. Boulder Canyon was the last time we ever did. And you see, we had to have 39 balloons when we came in here, so we had to have all the hidden balloons. As well as beat every single race, but we had to do that to get the trophy race, didn't we? So here's Dark Moon Caverns, my favorite track in the game. That doesn't mean I'm very good at it, but it is my favorite track in the game. Also because it has the credits music! Yes! Credits music! It's so peaceful here, too. I mean, you'd think alien planet, caverns, dark and scary, but it, it's a really serene kind of place, even though you got all those lasers pointing at you and shooting at you, and these loop-de-loops! What is this, Sonic? They get two loop-de-loops, not just one, but two of them, so Walrus Cove wasn't the only one to have one of those things. But I just love this world in general, I do. It's so pretty, it's a nice reward, uh, I'm repeating myself over and over again for no reason. So now that you guys have seen all five of them, I want to know what your favorite is. And just to give you a reminder, there was Dino Domain, Snowflake Mountain, Sherbert Island, Dragon Forest, 
and this one, which is called Future Funland. Yeah, kind of weird that they call this Future Funland, because we're, we're not really in the future or anything. This is just a whole different planet, I assume. Maybe it's Wizpig's planet. No way of knowing, though, because you only see spaceships and not aliens, so we have no idea what race of aliens Wizpig is. Drumstick, how in the world are you keeping up with me? In space, chickens are faster than mice. I thought I heard... Is that TT or Bumper I heard? I could have sworn it was Bumper. What is Bumper again? Hmm. What is Bumper? I thought he would... He might be a raccoon. He might be something else. Uh... I did remember this before. I just didn't say it. What is Bumper? Hmm. That's a good question. Unfortunately, like the, unlike, like unlike the like 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 unlikes. No more like likes. We've had enough of them in Zelda. So before I make a bigger fool of myself than I have already, let's advance to the third race, Spaceport Alpha. My least favorite of the four here, but it is pretty cool, I guess. It, I just don't like the course or the music either. It's just weird. And a lot of the stuff is kind of weirdly placed. The most annoying thing is over here. Make sure you go up out of there. Because a lot of the CPUs tend to get stuck in there. And let me just grab a shield because people are shooting at us! For no reason whatsoever! And don't hit the walls! And if that doesn't remind anybody of Star Wars Episode Four, I don't know what will. If you have no idea what you're talking about, drop everything you're doing and watch Star Wars Episode 4. Seriously, I don't care what you're doing. If you have never seen Star Wars Episode 4 before now, drop whatever you're doing and watch it, because nothing is more important to you right now than watching that. Okay, welcoming back our audience that spent the last three hours watching Star Wars Episode 4. Doesn't this remind you of the trenches on the Dark Star? Do they call it the Dark Star, or am I thinking of Kirby? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of Kirby. It's called the Death Star. I'm being an idiot now. I'm the one that told you to go out of your way and watch something, and here I am not even remembering the most important thing in it. That's hypocrisy for you. What else can I rant about? These guys are getting way too close to me. And from what I remember, this Silver Coin Challenge is a doozy, so considering they're so close to me in the regular race, I think I'm in trouble for that race. And also they put one of those things there, I have no idea why they put one over there. I mean, most of them, if you go a little bit out of your way to get a zipper, then it, it usually works out in your favor. I hit the wall again! But, uh, that particular zipper, I don't think it helps to get. Let me just get this balloon so they don't get it. Not that I need it. And... Celebrate victory! Now there's only one more course for us to take a look at. And that is... A close tie for my favorite course in the game. You know what, I think this is my favorite course in the game. Forget Dark Moon Caverns. I'm sorry, Dark Moon Caverns. I like this course better. I really do. But this course really is exactly what it sounds like. It is a city on another planet. And it has the same music as... What was it called? I forgot what it was called! It was the other airplane level. Oh well. I was hoping to show you the powered up version of the shield, but yeah, it's not that important. The only difference between the shields is that the first one is orange, the second one is blue, the third one is green, and the bigger the power up, the longer it lasts. That might, is that the only power up I didn't show the uh, three levels off. I think it was. And by the way, if you fall off the bridge, you have to go all the way back around and get on the bridge. Now, I 
think I'm going to be able to win this race after that anyway, but it, it's nice to show off. I don't think there's any other way to get up here if you fall down, so just be very careful and not fall off. Save yourself a big headache, especially for the Silver Coin Challenge. Because if you fall off, there is no way you're catching up, no matter what you do. Eat or else like Diddy! 17 bananas. That's also what I like about this level, is that you can get a hell of a lot of bananas. I don't know if you can increase your speed more than once, like if you get 20 bananas rather than 10. I almost fell off again. See, that's why I don't like doing the green boost when I'm on that bridge. I like to take it slow just in case I mess up. Well, at least I know that from the next race we do here. And... Yeah, there's your blue shield. And... With this race complete, we can take on the boss! And then, we'll have to do the silver coin challenges after the boss, right? Well... Unlike the other domains, we don't get to face a boss in between the regular races and the Silver Coin Challenges. We just move straight on to the Silver Coin Challenges. So let's do that! This is what I get for saying a race is easy. I honestly believe it's easy. A lot of these Silver Coins were very easy to spot. I know where they all are. And I don't think they're difficult to get. I just think some of them are kind of out of the way. Okay, fine, they are a little bit difficult to get. Especially lining yourself up for the ones like these. But, what the hell did that do? But yeah, there's one over there. The one that I don't like is all the way off to the right there. I'm going to save that for later. I just want to make sure I'm in contention for the first place here. And of course it's Diddy in front. I mean, why wouldn't Diddy be in front? Because Diddy is Diddy, and Diddy is Diddy is Diddy is Diddy is Diddy is Diddy. P. Diddy. He's definitely not as cool as P. Diddy. I don't know who he's firing for. I think he is anticipating me passing him because he thinks I'm good at this. But little does he know, I'm not very good at this, and he just went flying in front of me. So, I feel confident for this race. I don't believe these silver coins are very difficult if you know how to make turns like those. Now I have everything but one. Well, I know this one's over here, and I can't afford to miss that one because I have to go so far on my way to get it. And the only other one is towards the top path of the... I mean, I took the bottom path down there the last two times. So I need to be taking the top path to get the last one. And Diddy hit the freaking rocks, so I am feeling very good about this now. Especially that I hit both of those boosts. Yeah, baby. Really, this world is very, very pretty. Remember how I said in Warriors Cove that I'm a sucker for pretty colors? Well, I am a sucker for pretty colors, and this world is full of pretty colors. And if you miss the silver coin, I will kill you, Pepsi. Thank you. So, alright. I'm not frustrated with silver coin challenges yet. Huzzah! Win. I wonder how long it's going to take for me to blow a gasket on these silver coins. Hopefully not too long. What am I saying? I hope it is too long. 